Hi, LJ here with the Adventure Stop, and you don't know how long we've heard about these spring rolls, but today we're finally going to try them. Are you ready? Here we go. So over in Adventureland, these elusive spring rolls, yes I say elusive because half the time they're not there, but today they were and they were hot and delicious. So you can choose two for $7.50, and I chose the traditional cheeseburger and the Philly cheesesteak. I wanted to save the best for last, so first we're going to try the Philly cheesesteak. And let me tell you, it was full of the nice beefy flavor with the onions and peppers. It tasted really like a Philly cheesesteak wrapped in a spring roll. Now, you know, there's been a lot of folks out there who's tried to replicate this cheeseburger spring roll recipe, and it comes close, but not quite. And I will be the first one to tell you, I am not a fan of mustard, but let me tell you, this mustard, I cannot taste it. It's just a blend of cheeseburger goodness. Packed full of ground beef, onions, cheese, pickles. It was all wrapped up in this fried goodness. Oh, let me tell you, these were definitely a win, and I'd eat these all day long if I could. High five to Adventureland and Disney for keeping these things rolling along. They are the best. Definitely give them a try, guys, if you're over in Adventureland. Well, since we're already in Adventureland, let's head over around the corner, back over to the Aloha Isle. Because guess what, everyone? The Hey Hey Cone is back! Yes, my friends, it was gone for a couple weeks at the Aloha Isle, but due to popular demand, it's now back again. Thank you very much. The underdog, the star of Moana, Hey Hey the Chicken. It's now featured at the Aloha Isle again with this crazy little cone. Just take a look at that masterpiece, that art that you can hold in your hand. It's so fantastic with the candied eyeballs, the sour rip on top with the raspberry and traditional Dole Whip swirl. What goes better on a hot day? Nothing but a hey hey cone. Let's go jump on the monorail and head to Epcot as we head over to the Flower and Garden Festival of the World Showcase area for the Honey Bistro. So the Honey Bistro will just be around until June 3rd, till the end of the Flower and Garden Festival, and can be found just at the entrance of the World Showcase. So not actually in a particular land or particular country, but just right at the entrance, kind of near the refreshment port. And of course, being the Honey Bistro, honey being the main ingredient of most of the dishes. Check out the menu. You know, not too long ago, I was in my local grocery store buying some honey, and some random stranger asked, well, what's the difference between clover honey and orange blossom honey? Well, if you think about it, the honey that you're actually eating is bee barf. Yes, my friends, you're eating the regurgitation of what bees actually eat. So today we're going to try out the local wildflower honey marscapone cheesecake. And to break it down, basically it's orange blossom honey ice cream garnished with fennel pollen and meringue kisses with petite lavender shoots. This flower is edible, didn't really taste like anything, but it was a nice color on the plate. But everything else was super delicious and also accented with the gold glitter. I'm LJ with today's food adventure stop. And thanks for joining us today as we went to Magic Kingdom and to Epcot to try a few little snacks and goodies. Hey, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.